tired eyes go away. Does it look so much better? Look, dark, circles, tired mama. Much better, it's not as purple and blue. Good morning guys, if you have not seen yesterday's video of me going to the doctors and getting all of my test results back, I would love it if you go and watch it. I will have the link right here for you guys to go see just a health update about what's been going on with me. As I'm getting ready today because we have a Bali photo shoot for our Christmas dress, I just can't help but think about my doctor appointment yesterday. I was up all night feeling grateful that I finally got some answers and that I finally got some help for myself. I have been, and I'm a happy person. I feel like I take things and look at the bright side versus the negative side. I feel like I am overall try to be a positive person. But lately, especially the last four weeks, I've just had a really hard time because my anxiety has been so bad. My panic attacks when I just get really hot and like fluster like has been so bad. Um, I am the type of person that wakes up at like 7 a.m. with my kids. I'm eating breakfast. I always get like I get ready even if I'm not doing anything that day just because that's what Ellie likes to do. And lately that has not been me. I lay in bed till 11 and I tell Jared I'm so sorry I can't get up. He's working. My neighbors are so gracious to let the kids come over and play and I'm feeling worse than I did when I had my newborn. I knew something was wrong. I'm anemic. I have, um, my thyroid is like shot. I'm, I'm weak. I'm sick. And I'm just so glad that I went in and I just am hoping so bad that as I share this, I will be able to help people. I, after I had Calvin, I feel like I begged for help and I didn't know what help I was even begging for. Like, I, did, I didn't even know what I needed, but I knew I needed something, and I feel like now I finally have that. I finally have the help that I need, and I don't have to fight anymore. I keep using the word fight because I feel like in the mornings I wake up and I have to fight for every energy that I have. Of course I do. I'm anemic. <laughs> like My iron level is so dang low. Like My thyroid is so off. I was on thyroid medicine for several, year, for several years, and then... They said, oh, you're okay, you don't need to be on it, and now I'm desperately needing to get back on it. And so I'm very um, much looking forward to the next several weeks as I am um, helping myself um, that my energy will come back and that I will feel more like myself. You know, I use my blogs to express my emotions, to express what's going on, to express motherhood, and at the time of place where my mind was at after I had Calvin, I was so unbelievably had postpartum depression that any sort of negativity just festered in me and just made me feel worse. And um, so I have been worried about after having Tommy of expressing my tiredness that I would uproar people and be like, oh, Ellie, you have a wonderful life. You gotta stay home. You should just, you know, buck up type of thing. And that's what I've tried to been doing. I've been trying to buck up. I have like fought through it and finally having answers to why I feel the way I do has given me so much relief. And I just hope that somebody will be able to be like, oh my gosh, I feel like maybe that's me too. And that they can go in and get help. People for years go on to be anemic. People for years go on and have hypothyroidism and don't realize it. People for years have PCOS, don't have menstrual cycles, can't have kids, and don't know why. Like, I hope, I hope that somebody can listen to this and be able to go get the help because I feel like I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and I feel so much better because of that and I know that our vlogs will be a happier place because of that and Jared and I will be happier because I finally have been able to find some help. I am excited for this Bali photo shoot. I did take a nap. My kids are at the neighbors. I was so grateful. They have some awesome friends in the neighborhood that they play with and I thought if I'm gonna do a photo shoot today, I've gotta take a nap because at one o'clock I shut down. And then at five o'clock I really shut down and become like very flustered. <laughs> That's when the panic attacks happen. So I'm gonna put on some yummy highlighter and some red lipstick and I'm gonna go rock this beautiful dress that Bonnie and I have designed that I am so excited about. Time. Do you wanna see your cousin Lucy? Do you want to see your cousin Lucy? <laughs> you do? Let's see your cousin Lucy. Hi Lucy, how are you? 
Tommy and Lucy. Oh my goodness, he was just laughing up a storm when I was saying hi, or when I was saying, do you want to see your cousin Lucy? Do you want to? Hi kiddos, look at you guys. You look so handsome and pretty today for a fun little photo shoot. Are you excited, Lucy? Yeah? You are? Look how grown up you are. And look how big you're getting. So by now you probably know that we are doing a photo shoot for Bali's Christmas dress. It is absolutely beautiful, but I'm not gonna show everything to you just yet. What I'm going to show you is something very scary. Ellie, you are eating food, soup nonetheless. In my dress! In your dress! I don't care. I just rhymed a little bit. I'm on the edge. How scary is that? You are living on the edge. You're eating a very delicious yet messy meal before a, a, a photo shoot. It's okay. I, I'm a mom of three. I'm, I'm used to messes. I believe. I'll just, you know, clean it up, spray it. We're good. Okay. Good luck to you as you guys eat Thanks. and get ready for the photo shoot. Christmas is in our house right now, and Olive Garden is in our house right now, so it's a good day. And we're not complaining. <laughs> no, no, no. So cute. Her jewelry is I'm so dying. Cute. Turn around, look at this. Should like, we? Look, like, look how beautiful just that like little detail is. Should like, we do an official what? reveal on our channel? Should I back up and reveal yes, the whole thing? Yes. Get for the Christmas tree first. Get for the. Go, 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 go. go. So great, guys. Tommy, do you remember your friend Shanda? Huh? <laughs> yeah. I told her you were a daddy last time. You got your pictures taken. <laughs> now you're full of smiles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be cute if you like held. We'll pick a day, and you can just like kind of hold it like right about here, Perfect. and then the rest of us can be like, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> So we have all of our friends here to help us with this photo shoot. All of these girls look so gorgeous in their dresses. This is I'm fun. So giddy. Yeah, this is so, so cool. Giddy. You guys look so great. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Fun is this, Ellie. I love it. Everyone looks so good in these dresses, don't yes. you think? The whole morning, I was a little overwhelmed because the day we do photo shoots, I'm nervous. Like, I want everyone to be able to love what they're wearing and I want them to feel like they love it. And, like, all the girls are right now in the car together. They've never met each other and now they're all friends and they're in the car. We're driving up together. We're going to take pictures and we made friends. Bali is bringing people together. We're serious. It's true. It's cool. It's very cool. You should be proud, Ellie. I am very proud. I'm so happy. I love you. Good work. The dress is beautiful. Thanks. We'll talk more about it here in just a sec. All right, this photo shoot just got a little more interesting. Part two, cold edition. We have snow. You ready for this, Ellie Belly? Oh. Is. <laughs> careful, Ellie. It is so slippery. So slippery. Be so careful. It is ice. Ready? Oh, it's it, ice, it is. baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at his hands. Julie, you're looking a little too warm. Let's take your coat off. Okay. <laughs> okay, make sure you all get snuggled close together. Nice body warm. <laughs> I just want to thank all my friends for coming. Lisa, you darling, darling woman. You are so cute! <laughs> Katie, you're so cute! Jess, Julie, we are all sitting here in the freezing cold doing this photo shoot. I feel like my heart is so full because it's the Christmas season, Thanksgiving season. I love it. We're all trying to get warm. Joel's bringing the sweaters out. Shanda, my sweet friend. I was saying that I love that um, as a bigger girl that I'm comfortable in this dress even with all these other beautiful women in the dress that I feel comfort, that it feels secure without feeling suffocating, which is really hard to do with plus size dresses and just plus size clothing. I love that. I think it's a really, um, it highlights Ellie and Bonnie and the work that they've done on this Aww. dress. So I love it. Thank you. And to be <laughs> honest, the top, I want to just tell you a little bit about the dress. The top is made out of thick holding in material. I don't even know if that's a thing, but it holds you in. And then we made sure that the point where the dress came out 
was flattering whether you have a belly whether you don't have a belly we wanted that to be flattering on any type of body that you have i had so much fun today oh i'm my so glad my spirits were lifted i laughed with my sisters and friends and husband it was just a really really refreshing day good and I've been talking to, oh, I just have so much to say. We need to do a Spit podcast. Spit it out, girl. No, we're going to do a podcast about my doctor appointment because I've already talked to so many people, um, my fr close friends that were like, oh my gosh, this happened and my doctor said this and I didn't know that you could go to an actual hormone specialist to like, anyway, I just have so much, I like, I'm just so happy. Good. I am <laughs> so glad. Like, it's seriously, I'm so it's happy. so refreshing. I'm so tired, but so happy. <laughs> Well, it's refreshing. Like just the fact that you know like, oh, this kind helps. of stuff helps so much. Um, so let's talk about this Christmas dress. It's not available just yet, but keep your eyes peeled because we will tell you exactly when it is available. It is a beautiful Christmas dress, wouldn't you say? I would say Bonnie and I, this is a new adventure. Mm -hmm. We are learning that, oh, you need to start if you want you months Christmas? and months and yeah, months. It's, it's month. We're so behind. Um, I believe the dress will be available the first part of December. Um, next year that won't be the case. It'll be much sooner. But that's what it is this year. We're learning. So, but we're so excited. Yeah, we'll keep you all posted on when those are available. So make sure you guys are following Bali Brand on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll have BaliBrand.com in the description down below for you guys to check out as well. I have to run an errand, and. I, I'm thinking about picking up tacos, not from Del Taco I wish yet. the Del Taco was open. Do you want some tacos? Sure. Okay, and how many should I get? Because last time you ate all of mine. <laughs> you did. Get four. Four for you. And crispy crunchers. You want some crispy crunchers? Okay, I'll be back. See, I'll put this baby to bed. I'm sorry. Good night, Tom Tom. Look, he thumb. <gasps> Guys, he's been sucking his thumb. Are oh you a God. thumb sucker? Oh my gosh, Tom. <laughs> Are you a thumb sucker? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm I'm pick so him up. Pick sorry. him up. Her. I need to scare you. Oh, oh. That was kind of loud, and he's not really used to us being abrupt. We were just really Ready excited. For a smile. Yeah. In five, four. Just kiss five. him good. <laughs> oh. oh, hi. There's a smile for daddy. Yeah. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Do you forgive me? Yeah, you do. That was really sad. <laughs> Don't scare the baby. We just like tacos. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go feed Tom Tom and go put him to bed. And I just made a post on Instagram and I have been very emotional and blurry about um, all of your guys' responses. And I just... Really appreciate it. Sometimes it's really hard to share some of the stuff that we do and I just feel like so passionate about it and so grateful that I'm finally, finally taking control and over my health. Love you guys. Bye.